Yo, so slight issue. Renovations are being done. So this is like one of the last videos I can record while I'm just sitting here. Cause this desk has got to go. Um, a lot of it's got to go. I'm moving my desk. I'm not moving out. I wish. What? I'm kidding. I like not having to pay rent. So you're probably looking at the title and you're like, what is he on? What kind of drugs is he taking? Now let me be clear. The Ducky One Too Many was released on May 12th of 2020. And I know a lot of people love the Ducky One Too Many and there's many reasons why. It's a great keyboard. It's a great 60% keyboard of its time. It's 2021 now and there are a lot better and cheaper options instead of the Ducky One Too Many. And also the Razer Huntman, is that the name of it? I'm about to do some research. Razer Huntsman Mini? Yeah, this. Do not buy the Razer Huntsman Mini, please. Lord, do not. The only difference between the Razer one, uh, Huntsman Mini and a MZ60 is that the price range is a lot higher on the Razer side and it's not hot swappable. And that's the same on the Ducky 2 Mini. It, those two are big examples. Do not go because it's a Razer keyboard or because it's a Ducky keyboard, you do not need to go and buy that. It's too expensive. The Ducky 1 2 Mini is, what is that right now? The Ducky One Too Mini right now is selling for about $150. And the Razer Huntsman Mini is selling at $120. The only difference, the only difference in these are the prices and that they're not hot swappable. If you don't know what hot swappable means, I'll show you an example. So this is a PCB with an aluminum plate on top. A PCB what is what holds the switches. These guys, the things that make it clicky or not clicky. But there are these little pin things, holders inside them that allow you to put in a certain switch depending on what PCB you get. This PCB is hot swappable. What that means is that you can put any, depending on what the website says, most of them if they're hot swappable, they're Cherry MX or Gatoron switches, Kale Box, all those kind of switches, can be put inside this PCB, which means it's fully customizable. And that being said, you can also put custom keycaps, which you can obviously do on other keyboards, but if you want a certain switch underneath, you have to have the right PCB. These are selling at $150, $120, and you can't do that. It is a waste of your money. Unless you love Razer and you want all Razer products, or if you love Ducky's keyboards and you want to buy it, by all means, and you have all the money, go buy it. But if you are on a budget and you're like, I need the Razer Huntsman Mini or the Ducky One Too Mini, you do not need that. I would recommend going out and getting, let me get it. Hang on. I'd recommend and go out and get a GK61 S if you would like. S, I think the S actually comes with Gatoron switches and stuff, which is cool. Or the MZ60, which I did a review on, which you guys showed a lot of love on, so thank you. But do not go out and spend all your money on those things because, I mean, obviously, if a tech person, you would understand, but if you're just getting into it and you see, oh, Razer is the good company or this is a good company, they have good products, you wouldn't know that they're overpricing products. Now, some products like the Razer Viper Mini, which I want to talk about in another video, is like probably the best Razer product ever. And Razer isn't that, so I'm not a big fan of Razer. If you're not a tech person and you don't understand, uh, this is the best way I can explain it. You can go out and buy an MZ60 or a GK61 for $60 and you can fully customize your keyboard to down to the switch down to if you want it clicky or if you want it silent or if you want it right in between you can go all the way to that point but with the ducky one too many and this razor huntsman mini you're not going to get those options the only customization you can really get is the color that you pick and what keycaps you put on it that is the only thing you can do to them which for 119 150 dollars you should not be spending that kind of money on you could spend 150 dollars and get sit switches keycaps really good keycaps and a whole customizable keyboard for a lot cheaper a lot cheaper i could do more of these videos because this is very informative if you're just getting into tech this video should be perfect for you because obviously not to be rude but you don't know much about what's good or what's bad to buy and this is a perfect example of what not to buy if you're starting out now if you don't plan on customizing a keyboard and you love the ducky look and the feel and all that stuff go ahead and buy it. But this is for the people that are trying to save some money and they're trying to fully customize their keyboard. But yeah, that's the main gist of this video. Don't go out and buy the Ducky One Two Mini or the Razer Huntsman Mini. They're both very overpriced unless I'm getting Discord messages. What's up, bro? Unless it is just 
of your utmost priority, you want those keyboards, go ahead. But if you are out there trying to make a fully customized keyboard and you don't want to spend too much money, MZ60 or the GK61 are perfect options. There's also a lot of other options like the Ka I'm not going to remember the, wolf, the name of it. Something Wolf. Boom. The Blitz Wolf. A Blitz Wolf is a perfect option. Uh, it, that's Blitz Wolf, all one word. So yeah, that's it. If you guys want another one of these videos, I have another one in mind. I'm probably going to record it. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Appreciate the love. We Wait, dude. As of recording this, I think we hit 700 subs. No cap. We are at 702, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I have a video planned for that. It's going to be funny. I hope you guys like it. If you haven't seen my lav mic video where I talked about the new lav mic right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.